really excited about competing from a very different perspective, obviously in a very different position as to what I've been in previously coming into a trials meet. So um, for me, I'm just going to make sure I enjoy this whole experience. Um, I don't have expectations and I've, I've consciously approached it like that. Uh, for me, coming back to this sport after six and a half years off, um, obviously the age of 34, I've moved on quite a bit, done many other things in my life and you know, then all of a sudden, you know, just wanting to get fit last year and get back into the sport. Um, you know, I jumped back in with my old squad on the Gold Coast and it's only been six months so I can't really expect too much and, and from I guess the point of that to, to now is just been getting fit and healthy and then all of a sudden that competitive spark started to come back in and it was always going to be a club relay and then all of a sudden my training sets started to progress quite quickly and and now I'm looking at doing a, a 240 meter freestyle and really the reason I'm doing those events is not to, to qualify for the team. I never thought in a million years I would give myself an opportunity to qualify for a team. Um, it was really just to see where I was at because if I do want to continue with this, um, go another six months or even possibly 12 months, um, I'll know exactly where I'm at and what I need to do and that's what this meet <clears throat> really is about for me. It's finding out what I need to do if I want to improve and continue with this and actually be competitive. Uh, certainly has and it'll probably kick even you know, more so when I uh, see myself quite a fair bit back in each of the races that I'm in. Probably make me more competitive and more driven and more motivated to want to improve because I have no doubt that's going to be the case. I mean these young guys have obviously improved a lot since I moved on from the sport many many moons ago and uh, for me I just want to be you know as competitive against the times that I've already set over the past two or three weeks and and to be honest, my body in terms of um, the work that I've been doing um, and the improvement rate hasn't changed too much from before. I really think I would hit a lot of problems with shoulders, back, um, you know, getting sick all the time or just in general not being able to recover back to back for the sessions. But quite surprisingly, under a grueling program which we have at Miami under Dennis Cottrell, my body's managed to continue with that program, increase the volume, increase the strength in the gym but also continue to improve at a fairly rapid rate. Um, we're talking you know, six months worth of work here, not six years. I've had six years off. So I have to be very, very, I guess, aware of where I'm at and realistic with what I can achieve over these next few days. But for me, it's really a stepping stone to swimming faster and that'll be in the next two, three months, I'll go quicker again, I've no doubt. Um, I think I'm actually doing my job then. Right. Um, that's the point of being a part of Australian swimming or the Australian swim team is that you want to see everybody swim quick. quick. You know, I was captain of that team for many years and all I wanted to see was um, the worst competitor on our team get a medal. And if me coming back into the sport for my own reasons actually lifts um, the younger competitors and sees them get a little bit extra to themselves, my job's done. If I actually choose to go all the way to the Olympic trials next year but miss out by one place but these guys swim unbelievably quick then I feel like my job's done I feel like it's a total success um, and that's what I want to see I train with a lot of great guys with Tommy Fraser Holmes Dan Smith Geordie Harrison and to see them improving all the time and to see them get more out of themselves great I don't need to do anything else in this sport I was on this team for 12 years went to three Olympic games and won the various titles and world records and stuff like that. I don't need to do any more of that. I'm doing this for, for pleasure. I think I made it really clear in one of the articles that I felt like the last few years of my career was actually becoming a job. Just expectation, trying to get out there to win. And, and you know, the, the passion and the fire was, was there, but certainly not to the same extent it was earlier on in my career. And I felt like all that distraction around me really took away from what I wanted to do within the sport. And that's just what I'm getting back to now. I'm here because I'm enjoying it, I'm passionate about it, and I want to see how fast I can swim. I'm not motivated by David McKean or, or Tommy Fraser Holmes. I'm motivated actually to see them do well, but I'm really just focused on what I can do at the age of 34. Um, I hope these guys aren't taking me too seriously. They're pretty young and quick. <laughs> Oh, to be honest, the therapy had been done before that. Right? Yeah, I, I felt like when I rocked up to the pool, it was because I was in a good space, not because I needed to be in a good space. Right. Um, and I just thought, well, I want to do something that I enjoy. That's what it really came down to. I've been working hard since I was world champion of the sport at 16 years of age. And then you know, finish up that at 28, go into a, a pretty full on career, pretty stressful career. And then, you know, it's 20 years of go, go, go every single year. So it actually got to a point last year, I thought, well, I actually want to do something for myself. And I gravitated back to swimming. 
My preparation leading into these nationals is, has been really good. I've, I've mixed it up a little bit in terms of my approach to the sub competitions that have happened, like the BHP competition over in Perth and uh, New South Wales State Championships and, and, and whatever it may be, where I've intensified my training leading into competitions. So that, as a result, has put me into a different physical position when I step up on the blocks to race. So I've had a, I've had a different preparation this year compared to others where uh, in the past I've freshened up for those meets and gained an idea of where I sat in terms of um, my training and, and my results from a competition. So right now it's a grey area in terms of um, what I might do in the 100 and 200 and the 50 metre freestyle. But um, on the other side of things I've been gearing up and increasing a lot of my training and my times and, and weights in the gym and that has added extra levels of confidence into onto my mentality of getting up here on the blocks in Sydney and diving in and doing the best I can. Uh, it's it's awesome, it, it, staying, stepping up next to Grant Hackett who used to be a world record holder in that event is going to be um, extremely fun and he's in the 100 metre freestyle too which is typically a bit out of, out of his usual domain of the 400, 800, 1500 but he's at excellent speed leading into this competition and training alongside him in the gym I've seen how much jo enjoyment and, and excitement he's gotten out of this this short preparation. So it's just going to be great to get up and share the experience with him. Perfect. Uh, I've been focusing on my skills. Been doing a lot of skill work and um, doing uh, uh, just a lot of uh, turns and, uh, and starts and stuff like that to, uh, to get ready for the event. And uh, going to uh, World Cups last year really helped with the, uh, to uh, execute the skills well and just to learn more about that, so yeah. Uh, yeah, well Hackett's a legend and uh, I think uh, having him in the, in the sport is, is great for the sport and the sport needs needs someone like him in there as a, as a leader and it's the same thing as when Thorpey was back a few years ago and uh, it's great it's a great vibe around the pool deck and I think everyone's really excited about the, the return of uh, Hackett. Will it put race? Yeah, it'll be the first race, first night, it always is the 4 on a 3 so uh, uh, it's, I'm really looking forward to that and um, hopefully if I make the final. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it'll be good fun. Perfect, yeah. cool. Fantastic. Um, I think the, the, my workload's been a lot heavier this year and um, definitely after last year having such a big racing program, it's, um, I definitely felt it when I came back to training after my break. So um, yeah, I felt a, it's been a lot heavier and, um, but hopefully I can um, improve my times in the pool with that. Um, well this year we've been doing a lot of work with our you know, filming of our skills. So. I've been working a lot with my turns and dives and um, even my strokes, so I've made a lot of changes. Um, um, well, obviously I want to come in the top four to make the relay team because I think that's it's sort of a team that every 100 freestyle want, styler wants to be a part of. So, um, yeah, that's sort of my goal. Yeah, yeah. Awesome.